Steele here for Android Central, and we are back with the LG Optimus Pad, the Android 3.0 Honeycomb tablet. Now, I know it kind of looks like all the other uh, Honeycomb tablets we've seen, and so far as it's a big, giant black slab. This one actually has a little bit of differentiation to it. For one, the screen is 8.9 inches instead of 10.1 that we've seen on some other tabs. Um, and it's an interesting size, right? The Galaxy Tab, which is kind of the first tablet everybody came to know, uh, was 7 inches, and this is noticeably bigger. Uh, you can still one-hand it, but it's definitely bigger. I'm still on the fence. I've been playing with it all morning and uh, not quite sure exactly how far I want to go uh, as far as loving on the size. If you haven't seen uh, Honeycomb before, you got to love the widgets. You can flip through widgets. How great is that? We've done this once or twice now, right? And keep going and keep going and keep going. Really nicely done. Uh, but kind of the big thing about this tablet is there's a pair of cameras on the back because this guy shoots in 3D. How awesome is that? Um, again, 3D kind of on the fence, but like has an idea of what you can do with it. It's pretty interesting. And, and LG's got some uh, interesting tricks up their sleeve. Um, let's see. 3D camcorder on this guy. And you can see in real time what it is you're shooting. It will appear to be in 3D. Now, you will need glasses on the tablet to uh, actually see it, which, you know, take it or leave it. On the Optimus uh, 3D phone, you don't need glasses. So that's a big difference between the devices. Something like Google Maps on this guy is just awesome. Let's see if it can find us here. Uh, no, we are not in Vegas. We are very much not in Vegas. He thinks we're in Vegas, but so that's all right. We're very much in Spain. Google Maps, you can zoom in, you can tilt, you can rotate. Ahem, there you go, you can rotate. It's all the cool stuff in the new uh, Google Maps. It looks beautiful. It looks just beautiful on this screen. Go back home. As you can see, everything is fast. Dual core processor. Betty, Betty nice. I like it a lot. Uh, let's see. Google Books. Google Books on here is really interesting. So here's Pride and Prejudice by uh, Jane Austen. Uh, new reading position. Nah, don't worry about it. We'll read from here. So when you're holding it horizontally, you get two pages, and I like that. It's not too wide. I've seen some Android tablets try to just go one giant column, and that's pretty worthless. You can see flipping pages. You get a nice animation, but it's also quick when you want it to be. Flip up vertically. Transition takes a little longer than I would like, but you have one nice long column. Um, as we know about Honeycomb tablets now, there are no buttons on the front of this thing, right? We do have on this side, we got volume rocker and a microphone, it looks like. Uh, stereo speakers down here on the bottom. There we have HDMI and micro USB, and then some uh, gold contacts for accessories and charging and whatnot. Then you have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, more power, uh, another speaker, and the power button. Uh, something else you need to take a look at if you haven't is the browser. It looks like somebody's been uh, using Twitter, but let's go to our favorite website. What's the approximate price? Android Central. Let's see how it loads up on here. I'll take a second. We are in the bowels of Mobile World Congress here. But there's Lloyd. He's already popping up. While you're waiting, you can hop back out, go do something else. Uh, let's see. Let's see how YouTube looks on here. So you see you have a two-pane YouTube app. That's nice. Might take the video a second. So I'll tell you what, we'll just multitask. Oh, look at that. Oh, there are the videos. Cool. Full screen. That's nice. I like that a lot. Well, let's hop back out and see if our web page is loaded. And there it is. There's Android Central. The browser on this thing is very fast. Played with it a couple times now. Look how quickly that zooms in and out. I like that a lot. Scrolling. Very, very fast. Very, very smooth. Hey, there's a store. We'll buy something while we're here. Back, back. 
So there you go, guys. A very quick look at the LG Optimus tab. Not it's hard to tell how heavy it is with all this uh, security stuff on it, but it's not thick at all. Really, really impressed with the build quality too. Nice and solid. Front-facing camera on the front too, of course. So there you go. Very quick look at the LG Optimus tab. See you later.